Welcome back everyone, and you know, I bought the Flip 4, upgraded it from the Flip 3, which we've already sort of done this with once, and the screen protector has lasted five months since I've had this, so it's time to replace it again. It's just gone in exactly the same place as it did on the 3, which is just in the corner there. The only difference this time, I have got a crack appearing in the center. So I'm hoping that's just a screen protector, nothing else. We shall see. Um, but again, I've decided to do it myself. I've gone and bought the uh, white stone screen protector, the dome one, the same as I had last time with the applicator. They haven't sent me this, they haven't paid for it, they haven't contacted me. This is me going and buying this. It did such a good job last time, I've decided to stick with it again. There are loads of cheap alternatives out there. Um, yeah, I thought I'd stick with what I know. Should we see if we can do this successfully? And we'll try and zoom in a little bit more this time so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So, let's start the process. I am going to read the instructions as I go through, so this will cut in and out as I do stuff because I don't want to mess it up. There's me looking at the instructions even though it's in Chinese, Japanese, apologies, don't know. Um, and then on the back is all the English instructions. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Uh, da -da. So we've got the jig in the top, insert the device, Attach the stopper. Yeah, it's got a QR code on the back. So I am going to go and watch this QR code because I've only got one screen. I don't want to mess it up. Watch the video. Think I know what I'm doing. That little stopper just stops that moving. Um, not central, but it's just fixed to the desk there. So we've got that into there. You've got this little blue piece of plastic, which we're going to just put under the corner of the original to take that screen off. And I did this so easily and quickly last time that people didn't think I was actually doing it. So there's that coming off. Absolutely beautiful. That's my original screen and the crack was on the screen protector. Thank God. So I'm just going to, I do have a cloth alcohol wipe in there to clean it, but it is absolutely mint at the moment. So all I'm just doing is wiping the excess dirt around the edges off. Okay, so I'm gonna put that into the tray, into the caddy. Obviously we're getting loads of little dust particles at the moment dropping down. It does come with a front glass protector as well that it's got into there. And it comes with a spine protector. I'm not actually using those because of the way I've got the phone set up with the covers. Might use the spine protector, I suppose, but yeah, it's not the be all and end all to me. We do have some dust absorbent stickers here, which is great. So I am going to use that because we do have dust on there at the moment. And that's really going to annoy me if we get that. Okay. So we grab this, we're going to take off the cover for one and it's going to go and turn around and go into those, go into those. That's what's going to happen. So I'm just going to check the dust again. That's in like that. We take the squeegee that we've got here and we're going to do it at an angle and just go up. Now I do have some bubbles in there at the moment and I remember this from last time that I had a few that were there but over the next day or so they disappeared. And I was really quite impressed by that fact. I thought I was done for. 
So it'd be interesting to see if that happens again. So now we take those off there and off the bottom. And then we just check that that's into there like that. And hopefully those are going to come out of that over the next few days. So now we need to take the top layer off. Into there, and this was the most tricky thing that I did last time, was taking that top layer off. And there we go. Nicely back in. We'll check that those bubbles go over the next, don't know how long. That's it, job done. New screen protector on, flip four, looking good. Folds, nice and neat as well. As I say, we've got one for the screen, but I've got leather D-brand protector, which goes all over that bit anyway. I suppose that could have gone on before then. Yes, we could protect that on the side there, which is what one of those is in there. So we could protect that down there across on the Samsung bit. I'm really not fussed about that, I've got to be honest. Um, it is what it is. I think I'm going to damage the phone a lot more if that's having a problem. So not going to bother too much. But yeah, nice. There we go. All good. I don't know if you can... If I hide my face, it might focus onto that. That's all in, all nice. Brilliant, superb. Hope you liked that. Hope you saw how easy that actually was. Yes, there are a million and one different screen protectors out there. I don't know, I haven't tried any of this part of this one, to be fair. I tried this, it worked. I like this little setup. It makes it so easy to apply. And that's it, done. Job's a good one. See you on the next one.